I'm one of those humble guys that doesn't think he's smarter than the odds maker, like a lot of people out there. And I'm a avid believer that as soon as you take that mindset, you think you're smarter than the odds maker. That's your first falling when it comes to sports betting. Now, I'm not saying you need to fear an odds maker. I'm saying you need to respect them like I do. And you'll be much better suited when handicapping games if you do so. I haven't had the opportunity to say this on many occasions on Wager Talk TV, but over the years on other podcasts and other platforms, I've said it on numerous occasions, and I will continue to say it going forward. When you think like an odds maker, you're one step ahead of the normal people who bet on sports, or the average people, I should say. And uh, that's what I'm going to do when it comes to game one on Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock Eastern time between the Orlando Magic and the Cleveland Cavaliers. The game will be played in Cleveland. Uh, but before I get to that, folks, real quickly, uh, I'm 14-5 and five with my last 19 free pick videos. And I appreciate all the support and all the likes and all the great comments and also chiming in with other your feelings and your comments on games and, and your opinions, I should say, more than feelings. Uh, but if you could kindly give me a like on today's video, it would go a long way in making me happy. It would go a long way in making Wager Talk TV happy. And it certainly um, would be deeply appreciated. Also, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel, which is Wager Talk TV, take a second to do so. It costs you absolutely nothing. There's no strings attached. There's no hidden agenda. You'll be privy to some of the best sports betting information you'll find anywhere in the world on the internet today uh, and on your streaming devices today. And you'll get anything from podcasts to free pick videos such as these and also uh, handicapping tip videos as well. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button. It's 100% free to do so. And while you're at it, folks, go into your YouTube settings. And that goes for some of you who have subscribed out there and haven't done so. Go into your YouTube settings, click on that alert notification bell for Wager Talk TV, and you'll be alerted and notified immediately upon any of our content going up on our great channel. Okay, let's get to the specifics at hand. Uh, and that comes into Magic and Cavs. Here's the thing. Uh, again, let me repeat the line. Cleveland minus 4.5, 207.5. Teams have met four times this year. Three of the four have gone over the total. All four totals have had have a number of 215 or greater. Keep that in mind because today's total is 207 or Saturday's total is 207 and a half. And the average combined score of those four meetings during regular season action was 220 points per game. And again, the total here is 207 and a half. You see where I'm going with this in accordance to my opening statements about thinking like an odds maker. Cleveland, by the way, has gone over the total in nine of their last 12 overall. The Orlando Magic have gone over the total in their last five on the road. Cleveland has allowed 120 points or more in four of their last six games. Yet this total opened at 207 and a half and remains at 207 and a half as we speak. They're begging you to take the over in this contest. And if it looks too good to be true when it comes to sports betting, more times than not, it is. So let's think like an odds maker here. And let's go with the, the mindset that this looks too good to be true. The, the low total at 207 and a half and all the other statistics I just alluded to that point toward a higher scoring game. And I'm going to go with a contrarian approach here. Orlando, Cleveland, under the total of 207 and a half in game one on Saturday afternoon. Folks, if you have not uh, followed me at sportsmemo.com, and especially during the NBA postseason, you're missing something. My premium paid selections over the last two years at Sports Memo, I'm number one at the site in terms of NBA postseason picks at 77 and 49 over the last two years combined and also uh, began this postseason. And it is the postseason. Make no two ways about it, folks. The NBA could call it not part of the postseason 
and an extension to regular season. When teams are eliminated and are no longer playing and other teams are paying an extra game, it's the postseason. So two and one so far this postseason, including two and oh on Wednesday night. So a lot of good things to uh, keep an eye on there. My NBA picks, by the way, are on a eight and one run and going back to the regular season. And also basketball picks overall at Sports Memo. I'm on a 35 and 18 run since March 19th with my basketball selections. And that's good for 66%. Right now, as we speak, if you go to my page at sm.buzz slash RB over at sportsmemo.com and click on my seven-day pass for $79, not only will you get $79 for seven days, you'll get an additional three days added on. So you'll get 10 days for the price of a seven-day package. And that amounts to $7.90 per day. If you can't afford that and you're, you're paying other sports services across the internet, then folks, I don't know what to tell you because uh, I just gave you the numbers of how I've done in the NBA postseason, how hot I've been in basketball, NBA specifically. And uh, there it is. Yeah, Again, it's your prerogative. If you don't want to buy, I could take a horse to water, but I can't make him drink. Uh, but I do appreciate you, even if you don't buy, joining us on Wager Talk TV to watch these pre-pick videos. Let's make it 15 and 5 with this pick. Uh, also, I have both picks on Friday in the NBA in the playing games right up at Wager Talk TV right now. So you want to check those out. I'll have another game on the Saturday card uh, coming up shortly. And also, I'll have two games, pre-pick videos for Sunday in the NBA playoffs. Until the next time, for Ross Benjamin, Wager Talk TV, take care and God bless, folks.